video 43 what are the complications of hypertension hello friends i'm dr t today we are addressing the complications of hypertension the silent killer can quietly damage the inner lining of your arteries for years before any symptoms develop. Let's talk about damage to the artery. The healthy arteries are flexible, are elastic, and are strong. The inner layer, the uh, layer called the intima, is smooth, allowing blood to reach vital organs and tissues throughout the body. And high blood pressure leads to damage to this inner layer, uh, leading to a buildup of plaque, limiting the flow of blood. Every artery in the body could be affected, but in addition, the constant blood pressure in the wall of the arteries could lead to a weakening of the wall of the artery itself, causing a bulge. It's called an aneurysm, and these aneurysms could rupture with life-threatening consequences. They can happen in the aorta, the big artery coming out of your heart. They could happen in the arteries in your brain with serious consequences. If the artery affects the supplies blood to the brain, you get a stroke. If it's a coronary artery, you get a heart attack. If the artery affects the supplies the kidneys, you could get kidney failure. And if the artery supplying blood to the eye, you could get vision loss. If it affects the arteries going to the lower extremities to your legs, you could get a potential ulcers and even gangrene requiring amputations. Dive in a little bit more. Damage to the brain. Limiting blood flow to the brain would lead to a TAA, a transient ischemic attack, also known as a mini stroke, due to temporary interruption of blood to the brain. If an edge artery in the brain gets cut off, you get a brain attack, really a stroke, and even small arteries that are affected, you can get memory issues, cognitive impairment, even a type of dementia called a vascular dementia. Number two, damage to the heart. The high blood pressure affects the heart in two ways. In one end, makes the heart work harder to pump blood to the rest of the body. This higher work, higher load, will lead initially to thickening of the left ventricle, the called hypertrophy, the left main pumping chamber of the heart. Uh, but eventually the heart will weaken, will enlarge, and will develop congestive heart failure. And on the other hand, if a major artery supplying blood to the heart gets cut off or blocked, then you'll have angina, unstable angina, even a heart attack, where part of the heart muscle will be damaged forever. Number three, damage to the kidneys. Your kidneys filter excess fluids and waste from our bodies. The high blood pressure damage the blood supply to the kidneys, causing scar tissue, leading to a kidney uh, failure. If this was not enough, the kidney damage would lead to worsening of blood pressure, creating really a vicious cycle. Number four, damage to the eyes. Damage which injury to the small vessels supplying the back of the eye called the retina could lead to bleeding, blurred vision, and vision loss. Number five, damage to the sexual organs. Limiting blood flow to the pelvic arteries and the penile artery in men could cause erectile dysfunction. Women will also experience sexual dysfunction, decreasing sexual desire and vaginal dryness, and difficulty in achieving orgasm. Number six, damage to the lower extremities. High blood pressure with other risk factors, diabetes, high cholesterol, and smoking could lead to buildup of plaque in the arteries going to the legs. This could cause intermittent claudication, non-healing ulcers, and even gangrene requiring amputation. This damage caused by high blood pressure comes over many years. However, sometimes the blood pressure could rise. Uh, it's called a hypertensive crisis. It uh, happens when your blood pressure is above 180 over 20. It's so important I'll actually make a video on this issue. In summary, hypertension is the most prevalent cardiac risk factor in adults. In Western societies, according to the definition, we have 126 million Americans with high blood pressure. And this is a silent killer will relentlessly uh, damage the arteries throughout your body without any symptoms. The only way of diagnosing it is measuring it. Uh, don't be a victim, know your numbers. There are ways of lowering blood pressure with, even without medications. And uh, I'll put a link to a video, for instance, on the top 10 signs you are eating too much salt. Be smart, take control, your health, your most precious asset. I'll see you next video.